Thank you. One of Donald Trump's closest aides who was indicted along with the former president was finally arraigned today in Miami. He pleaded not guilty to conspiring to withhold classified documents. Local 10's Ian Margle was inside the courtroom and is live with what happened. Ian. Walt Nada is accused of moving boxes of classified documents to make them harder to find. And he's accused of doing so at the direction of the former president. Now he's officially been uh, he's officially been charged with those crimes. Walt Nada officially arraigned on federal charges Thursday. The Navy veteran and White House valet turned personal aide for Donald Trump is a co-defendant in the former president's federal case facing six charges after investigators say he was seen on surveillance video moving boxes of classified documents so an attorney wouldn't be able to find them. And the government says Nada did it because Trump told him to. Yeah, Attorney David Weinstein, who is not affiliated with the on. case, says while several of the charges they are each facing could carry up to a 20-year maximum sentence, sentencing guidelines say both would likely face less time if convicted. The actual advisory guidelines for the former president are between 15 and a half to 19 and a half years, and for Walt Nada, between three to four years. Thursday was actually the third attempt at Nada's arraignment. First, he was having trouble finding a Florida-based attorney. Then he had travel-related problems because of weather. This time, though, the arraignment went off without a hitch and lasted only five minutes. Well, today was an important day in the proceedings for Nada because he has now been arraigned. He's entered his not guilty plea. The Florida-based attorney that will be representing Nada is Sasha Dadon, a criminal defense attorney with seemingly limited, if any, federal trial experience. But Dadon is based in Fort Pierce, where this case is set to take place. Mr. Don, anything you'd like to add? On his way out of the courthouse, neither Nada nor his attorneys had anything to say to our cameras. The rest of this case will take place in Fort Pierce. It is scheduled to begin next month. The government, though, has asked for that to be extended. The judge has yet to make a decision on if that will actually happen. But of course, we'll keep you posted every step of the way. Live in Miami, I'm Ian Margle, Local 10 News.